Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Italian Makes It. I'm very excited because today I'm going to show you a mix technique using um, acrylic and ink to paint one of these. Yay! I'm very excited about this because this is a technique that I learned when I was really, really young and my art teacher taught us this. And since then I was like, oh my God, Every time I see that there's a subject that it would be good to paint that way, then that's when I use it. And uh, oh, it's phenomenal and I hope you're going to like it. Um, it's, it's a mixed media technique, so I'm going to be using acrylic paint and Indian ink. The concept is you do your drawing, you paint it, you cover it with ink, you wash it off and then you've got your picture. But let me start and let me show you what I'm going to be drawing today. Um, yes, probably you will know now that unicorns are my obsession. But I've also got another obsession and it's the sun and the moon. And a long time ago, I painted these two boards with the sun and the moon. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to reproduce them using this technique. So these were painted in with oil. Um, with oil colours and today I'm going to be using the acrylic and the ink. I bought these two frames, um, they are by 20 by 20 centimetres and what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, do a painting that's going to fit inside it. Inside the frame there's um, this, I don't know how to call it, a frame inside the frame. So I'm going to be using this to gauge um, the size that I need to cut the paper at but before I cut it I'll pin it down with some masking tape so then it's um it won't the paper won't move as I'm drawing and painting. But let me show you. Let me show you. I've got for this technique, by the way, you need to use watercolor paper. And the reason being is because when you're painting the textured paper, it will leave you few, few gaps within the paint. So when you cover with the ink, the ink will wash off where the paint is but it will remain where the paint is thinner so let me let me show you so let's do this first i'm gonna draw on the outside because when i put it inside the frame it's got something to hold When you draw in your picture with this technique, you also need to draw a little border and just leave a little gap because what's going to happen, everything that you're not going to put the paint on, on the paper, is going to be black uh, because the ink is going to go in. So the ink is going to go and settle in all the places where you are not going to put any paint on. So let's get on with it. Let's draw the sun first. So I'm going to do it in a corner. And there we go and I'm ready for painting yay I have my palette I have my towel and I'm gonna be using yellow orange light and dark blue and pink and red oh obviously white I've got my water I've got my brushes and I'm ready to go you don't want to dilute the colours too much because, as I said, the texture of the watercolour paper is going to do pretty much all of the work for you. Um, but you need to be aware that you need to have the colour a little bit thinner in the area where the ink is going to dip. So if there are areas where you know that you want to have a little bit more ink going into it, then just dilute the colour on, 
on those areas. You can have a little bit of control with this technique, but I love the randomness. I love the fact that you do it and then you're not quite sure of what's going to come out. And then the effects and the result is usually pretty good. And also around the places where you just left a little border, if you want a proper nice sharp edge, just make sure that you put quite a big thick layer of colour around it so you're going to have nice and defined edges. Right, let me show you. Let's start painting this. There we go, the sun is done. I'm gonna wait for this to dry, and in the meantime, I'm gonna paint the moon. And there you have it, the moon is ready as well. So, I'm gonna let them dry, and then we're gonna cover them with the Indian ink. I'll see you once they're dry. Yay! Both paintings are now dry. So we got the moon and we got the sun. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, I'm going to pin them back down. Um, it didn't take very long to dry because it's acrylic. Cover the whole thing in ink. Don't panic. It's all going to be good. And we've got the little, I know it's tiny, but oh my God, it goes a long way. It's, um, you can use it over and over again. It's like... It's like Mary Poppins' bag. It just never seems to be going down. <gasps> Let's cover that in ink. Ooh, this is nice and exciting. Look at that. And you always put it on all in the same direction. So you just go up and down, up and down, or sideways. But I've started this way, so I need to carry on. And just make sure that is completely covered. One down, one more to go. And now the moon has also been covered in ink. All we need to do now is wait until it dries and you can even use a hairdryer to just make the process a little bit quicker. But as soon as they dry, wash them off. But I'll show you in a minute. Oh my God, they're both dry. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see the outlines, all the spaces that we left blank, they're now being filled in with the ink. And now when we wash this off, some of the ink is going to wash off the one where the paint was thicker. And we're going to see what effect we've got. So this is very exciting. I'm going to take the other one off the table and then I'm going to go under the sink and just wash it off under runny water. Now the paintings have been washed off and I'm so, so happy with the way they've come out and I hope you like them. Oh, it's such a fun technique. The only thing is that 
Um, <laughs> because I was trying, I was too excited, obviously, as always, and I was trying to get them done as quickly as possible. I forgot to put a little, a couple of highlights on the moon, which I probably, I'm going to be doing it now, but I still like it. It came out really, really well. I'm really happy and I can't wait to put these on the frames. So let me do the two highlights now. Just very quickly. I still have a little bit of paint because obviously I always put too much. So let's do... These are the three dots that I wanted to do. So I'm happy with that. Once that is drying, let's get the sun sorted. So I'm going to cut the sides. And there we go. The paintings are now in the frames. I'm so so excited how they turned up it's so cool um i really hope you've enjoyed this video and you like this technique it's so easy and simple and you just need to get your head around how to um what spaces you want to leave white what spaces which spaces you want the ink to go in and just to recap you need good quality watercolor paper use acrylic paint and you just need um, Indi Indian ink. Um, you need to be careful of which ink you're using. I've always used the Windsor & Newton and it seems to be working really, really well because it just gives you a really ni nice darkness and it keeps the ink really, really dark. So, and it works really well with the contrast of the colours. While I've used other types of ink and they didn't work out as well. So there we go. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching it this far. And if you have enjoyed it, why not give us the thumbs up? It really helps the channel. And also, why not subscribe so you can uh, receive the notifications on the next video and just hit that bell so you get notified. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye bye.